opponent brings in a swamper gonna go for a second shadow ball they probably think we didn't have enough energy for this second one but guess what we got a surprise what is going on everyone welcome back to the channel ox here with another video if you're new to the channel we do upload pokemon go content mostly related to pvp and if you're a returning subscriber like leonardo maniscalco thank you for the support in today's video, we are taking a look at some battles in the Open Great League, and we are featuring a very spicy team once again for Season 11, this time going with the Double Legacy Dugong in the lead, Gengar, and Shadow Alakazam in the back. So this backline, of course, is going to have absolutely zero bulk to it, Shadow Alakazam and Gengar, both glass cannons but that's part of what makes these teams so fun to run you really need to be effective with your shields and maneuvering around with such low hp so hopefully these battles will be entertaining when we take a look at the pv poke ratings you could see there is not a lot to like about this team an f for bulk that's pretty much standard d for coverage d for safety and once again the b4 consistently bad this should be some pretty exciting battles. If you enjoy this type of content, please consider leaving a like and a comment down below. It really helps the channel grow. And without any further ado, let's jump into the first battle right now. All right, so here we go. Shadow Alakazam showcase on a very spicy team. A horrible threat score right there. That's a lot of blue once again, but this is the season of spice. So we're gonna spice it up. Dugong into Obstu, and this is one of the worst leads to see with this team. So we're going to swap out into the Alakazam right here. We are met by a Hypno. And this isn't ideal, but we can win the Zero Shields with a Shadow Ball, assuming they let this go through. The opponent, though, is going to respect that damage and shield up. Now, at this point, I have a decision to make. Can we actually reach another Shadow Ball? And will the opponent try farming us down, allowing us to reach that Shadow Ball? I take the chance here, and we do, in fact, reach this move. Winning Switch here actually isn't too important because... We actually don't have a counter for that Obstune, so all we really want there is the second shield from the opponent, and then we'll come back in with the Dugong. Look to farm down here completely, not going to shield anything here coming from the Hypno. Might even consider swapping out at some point to the Gengar if we could farm down before a Confusion registers, but we will have a very tough situation here against the Obstune. We do swap out, they bring in Kafa Grigus, so this is pretty much a triple hard, I guess it's not a triple hard counter, but it's a pretty rough lineup here all three of these pokemon do align quite well against our team and we still have that off skin to worry about so going for the shadow punch right here we are able to take out the kafa grigus we still have a shield remaining so the obstagoon will likely come in here we do need to reach the sludge bomb here it does do respectable damage against the obstagoon so going to throw this looking at my switch timer can we snipe with the dugong and throw that icy win Yes, we can. Catching them in the middle of their counter animation. This is going to take out the Obstagoon. Hypno with 1 HP. Doesn't want the smoke. Able to come back from a very difficult lead right there. Very poor alignment throughout, but we are able to get off to the 1-0 star here with this very spicy team. Let's hop into match number two. We got Dugong into Chestnut right here. This is a somewhat neutral matchup. Dugong can win this quite comfortably in the two shields, but of course... You're not always going to want to play out the two shields in the lead matchup, especially when you have two Pokemon that really do require shields in the back. So going to shield up the first move right here, and then we're going to go for another Icy Wind. I think from this point, we probably would not look to shield up. So Icy Wind going to come through. I'm actually going for the no bubbles right here and trying to get a bit of farm here before they can reach a move and we are able to do it. So that is huge right there. We end up winning the one shield. It's a cradley in the back. So they are not going to appreciate this icy wind coming through right here. They are going to shell it up. And we swap out into the Alakazam, which is basically our best answer to the cradley. So you can make the argument maybe we should have came in with the Gengar instead. But now we have a big energy lead. The opponent is shields down. It's a jump pluff in the back. So hoping I get to two fire punches right here with the Alakazam. First one going to be dealing huge damage, but it does not knock out. And they are going to actually outpace us to the second move. So we're going to get taken out right here. I need Gengar to come in here and basically farm down before taking a move from this jump bluff. At which point we should have energy ready to throw at the Cradley. And we are able to farm down with the Shadow Punch ready to go. Again, the opponent doesn't want the smoke going to back out of that matchup. Nobody wants none of this zero bulk backline. 
everyone leaving the match early. They are definitely afraid of those IVs on the Shadow Alakazam. That is not a typo, those are in fact the IVs. You gotta use what you got, right? We have a fantastic lead right here, Dugong into Drifbloom. Opponent swaps out into Azuma, which is definitely a bit of a challenge right here. So we're forced to stay in with the Dugong, going to throw the Icy Wind. And then I want to swap out into the Gengar once this Azumarill is somewhat dry on energy. So I'm going to tank this first move right here. It is the play rough and look to throw one more Icy Win. I'll look to tank another move from the Azumarill, I believe, before swapping out here. Yeah, so we'll tank this move, swap out into the Gengar now, and look to finish it off with possibly a Sludge Bomb. The switch timers are desynced, so they may try to catch that move onto the Drift Bloom. They actually bring an obstacle and I go for the Shadow Punch here, so a great catch from the opponent. And now the opponent is going to be switch locked into their obstacle. So what I'm going to do here is throw this Sludge Bomb, either get the damage or the shield from the opponent, and then let them take me out because I could come in after with the Alakazam. They cannot swap out, so we'll be able to completely farm down with counter. We still have two shields, so things are looking pretty good right now. We will have to shield up one Night Slash here. And then we're going to be loaded on energy. See if they want to come in with the Azumarill or the Drift Bloom. If they come in with the Drift Bloom, they're probably not respecting the Shadow Ball. And that is what they do. So we're going to go for that huge damage right here. Is this a one hit KO? Bang! Yes it is. No respect for the Zam. Opponent comes back in with the Azumarill. We just need to preserve this shield right now for the Dugong. And we basically win this game. And once again, third time in a row, the opponent is going to exit the match early. This team is off to an incredible start, despite being as bad as it is. And let's hop into match number four. Dugong into Unova Stunfisk. Once again, a very nice lead right here for the Dugong. So we are definitely going to stay in this matchup. We don't really need to shield anything either because we are doing a lot more damage to the Stunfisk as you can see. We tank this first discharge. It does hurt, but after lowering the attack with the Icy Wind, we'll actually be able to survive the second as well, whereas the opponent is forced to use their shield. So we will tank this next discharge once again and see if the opponent wants to stay in this matchup or swap out. They do bring in the Skarmory, so I'm going to look to throw the Icy Wind right here, lower the attack, and then come in with the Shadow Alakazam. And my thinking here was that if we get to the Fire Punch, we'll KO. If they outpace us, we'll shield and look to commit to the complete farm down. You can see these counters are no joke. They are absolutely going ham on the Skarmory right here. Able to take it out. Loaded on energy. Stun Fist comes back in. Going straight for the Shadow Ball right here. We've already seen it. They don't respect this. Bang! Stun Fist gets taken out. Opponent brings in a Swamper. Gonna go for a second Shadow Ball. They probably think we didn't have enough energy for this second one. But guess what? We got a surprise. Bang! Back-to-back -back knockouts. Nobody respecting the power of Shadow Alakazam. Absolutely going off in this video. Let's hop into the fifth battle. See if we could pull off the incredible 5-0 with this team. And a lead like this is definitely going to help us out. So Ariados right here. The battle of the two debuffing Pokemon. Icy Wind versus Lunge. This still favors Dugong right here. Opponent going for the Cross Poison actually. Probably trying to get that attack boost. Going for the Icy Wind on the Ariados that does heavy damage. And we're going to stay in here. They swap out into Azumarill, which isn't ideal. So I'm going to look to throw this Icy Wind right here. And then we will look to swap out immediately this time into the Gengar. I probably could tank this move to be honest, but I am going to shield it up. And probably look to over farm quite a bit before they reach their next move. And then look to throw the Sludge Bomb, which... Oh no, we're going to go for the Shadow Punch here. So my assumption here is they're probably going to shield this up. Maybe play for Switch, but they actually don't. So at this point, I'm going to go for the Sludge Bomb. Shadow Punch wouldn't KO, so they might think they'll survive this. Instead, we go for the Guaranteed Knockout with the Sludge Bomb. That takes out a Azumarill. We maintain alignment, but we are down a shield. They come back in with Ariados, which definitely is not a good answer to Gengar. So the Lunge comes through. We are going to resist that damage. Able to reach the Shadow Punch, which will take out the Ariados. Do they want to shield this up and preserve it? Or let it go down, they decide to let it go down, and it's a stun fisk in the back. So we swap out into Dugong here. They cannot reset their debuff, and we do survive this rock slide. So we have an easy play right here. No shield the rock slide. Get off this icy win. At which point we will allow the Dugong to go down. We'll come back in with the Shadow Alakazam. And they're not using any shields right here on their stun fisk. We are going to reach another icy win if they do not throw here. So they are going to dump some energy. Alakazam now is going to be able to come in. 
the opponent is going to end up saving these shields for season 37 and we are going to simply farm down once again the opponent doesn't want the smoke that's four matches out of five where they left early this team causing a lot of problems surprisingly but you know what we say 5-0 with a team this bad is probably a fluke so we gotta run a second set and see if the success continues So obviously a great start to this video with a 5-0, small sample size, you're probably not going to get very many 5-0s with this team, probably more likely to get some 0-5s, and we got a pretty difficult lead right here in the form of Empoleon, so we swap out into Gengar, we are met by a Sableye, which is pretty awful for our backline, so going to throw the Shadow Punch right here, and probably get a shield the first time, they can now safely no shield the second one, and commit to the complete farm down on Gengar, which is not ideal for us and we're basically forced to come back in with the dugong and I think at this point we have to preserve our shields for the alakazam so I'm going to tank all this damage onto the dugong and then look to farm down completely maybe even throw an icy wind at the empoleon before swapping out into the alakazam just in case they do want to stay in for whatever reason maybe double weak to alakazam in the back we are going to lower that waterfall damage however most likely they're going to swap out of this match so icy wind comes through swap out into the alakazam and it's an altaria in the back so pretty much no way we can win this even a shadow ball would not be enough to knock out an altaria right here it is just way too bulky and they are going to shield anyways we get farmed down completely and dugong while it still should be able to beat altaria here with such low hp because an icy wind basically ko's it's not going to be able to do anything to empoleon so realistically i should have just no shielded the move right there but i wanted to see if we could farm down altaria maybe get to like a critical hit water pulse or something that knocks out the empoleon absolutely zero chance right there we do end up losing that game and that's probably a lot more realistic of what you could expect to see when running a team like this a pretty hard loss dugong into alolan marowak once again a not a great lead because obviously these ice shards are being resisted water pulse does hurt but it does require a lot more energy to reach so we're gonna take this shadow bone right here look to throw the water pulse and then swap out into the gengar and see what the opponent wants to do actually ends up being a simultaneous swap and they bring in a shadow machamp so this is probably the best case scenario for us we're going to throw this shadow punch right here unfortunately they are going to reach a move before we could farm down and this could be a rock slide so i am going to shield it up right here and it is in fact the rock slide so we do farm down had to go down a shield though and they come in with the lapras so we're going to build up to what could be potentially a shadow ball throw this shadow punch right here they do respect that and shield up going to throw the second shadow punch right here and this should be a cmp tie so once again everything is going right for us in this matchup lapras should be dry in energy now we'll come in with the alakazam and the opponent likely to swap out into the Marowak. Now right here is where I make a mistake. For some reason I stay in with the Alakazam. And then I'm forced to shield a Bone Club right here. Which is a huge blow. Come in with the Dugong. They're actually going to reach a Shadow Bone here before we get to this Icy Wind. So this is looking really bad. We are going to get some farm with the Alakazam. But we basically need to get to two Fire Punches right here. Which is not going to happen. First one comes through. Lapras needs to outpace us to the Surf. And we need to get to this next fire punch. Not able to do it. So we are going to end up losing this game. Definitely misplay that by staying in with the Alakazam against the Marowak. A game that I felt we probably should have won. But mistakes are going to happen. And just like North Macedonia managed to beat Italy. Sometimes miracles happen. So Dugong, Shadow, Needle Queen right here. And this is a great lead. So the opponent swaps out into Jellicent. Here comes the Gengar. Pretty Rough matchup depending on the moveset. If they have Bubble Beam, it could get a little bit tricky. If it's Ice Beam plus Shadow Ball, we should be able to win this quite comfortably here. So going to build up to another Shadow Punch. I'm going to respect the potential Shadow Ball. And thankfully it is. So perhaps this is Ice Beam plus Shadow Ball. Going to be going for the Shadow Punch once again. And the opponent actually decides to double shield. So we're going to commit to the complete farm down right here. Loaded on energy. The opponent leaves the match. They don't want the smoke. Let's hop into battle number four. And yes, Italy did in fact lose to North Macedonia. They are out of the World Cup once again after winning the Euro. So that is absolutely insane. I know we got a couple of Italian viewers. So my condolences to you. 
the good news is there will be 48 teams for the 2026 World Cup, so maybe that'll make it easier to qualify. Dugong into Trevenant right here. Beautiful matchup. Opponent swaps out into the Azumarill. And once again, a pretty challenging spot to find ourselves in. So we're going to swap out into the Gengar after lowering the attack. They're going to throw the first move. We are going to shield once again right here. And I'm going to over farm quite a bit. And this time we're going straight for the sludge bomb. A lot of people aren't shielding anything in this video. It seems to be that trend. Bang, it continues. Sludge bomb takes it out. Opponent likely to come back in with the Trevenant. Instead, they come in with Stun Fisk. I actually like this play because since we showed that we have Sludge Bomb, there's pretty much no way we're running Shadow Ball or Focus Blast. So they could pretty much expect only Shadow Punches here. And they don't really have to use any shields at this point. So a second Shadow Punch coming through. The opponent is going to no shield once again. And they're going to throw the Rock Slide here. So this is really good for us. We will come in with the Alakazam. Force the swap out into the Trevenant. Or they could stay in with the Stun Fisk. This works too. If it's Rock Slide, we survive. If it's Earthquake, we get taken out. But pretty much no HP left. We'll come in with the Dugong. They have two shields, so we have to commit to the complete farm down. We sneak in the Ice Shard. That's huge. Going to shield this up right here. No point to throw an Icy Wind. We need to just commit to the farm down. Able to do it. Stun Fisk in the back. No energy. Gets farmed down. Opponent goes down with two shields. Able to take that game. Two and two. Can we bounce back? Salvage the three and two set. Let's find out right now. Dugong into Metacham. This is an absolutely horrendous lead to see for this team. So we're forced to swap out into Alakazam, which is also a losing matchup here against the Metacham. So nothing we can really do. Maybe if this is a pup, there is some play, but we're only at a Fire Punch right here. So Ice Punch almost takes us out. We cannot reach the Shadow Ball, I don't think. So going for the Fire Punch, it was CMP. And the opponent is going to farm us down. Now, I'm going to wait out the switch timer, of course. There is probably at least another good 30 seconds left before we could swap out into the Dugong. Thankfully for us, the opponent is actually deciding to stay in here. So we're going to throw the Shadow Punch. Hopefully, this is enough to knock out the Metacham. It is not hanging on by 1 HP. You hate to see it. That is a huge blow. Force the shield right here. And we are going to farm down. Now our switch timer is available. Stun Fist comes in. This is pretty bad because we don't have a great answer here. Going to build up towards the Shadow Ball. Hopefully they think we have enough for a Focus Blast and Shield. But they don't. CMP tie. Tough call right here. We have to let it go through. And I don't swap out which is a huge mistake. Not really sure what I was thinking right there. Definitely a brain lapse. And we're forced to come with Dugong now. We should have swapped out into Dugong instead, potentially preserving the Gengar. And since it's a Hypno in the back, there is maybe potential that we would be able to reach that Shadow Punch at the end. But as you can see, this game is basically over. So going for the Icy Winds right here, opponent could pretty much just go straight Thunder Punch and win this game. But it looks like they're probably going to go for a Focus Blast here. Dugong though says, hey, that's not enough to take us out. I could have thrown the Icy Wind and actually took them out right there, but I decided the game was over. No point. Going to let them take us out here with the Thunder Punch, and we end up losing that game. Two and three set with this team. This is definitely a lot more realistic of what you could expect when running a team this bad, as opposed to the 5-0 that we witnessed in set number one. Overall, this was a very fun team. Shadow Alakazam hits like an absolute truck, and it's definitely a Pokemon I would recommend using if you're just looking to spice it up and do some heavy damage. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and a comment down below. And if you'd like to see more content like this, consider subscribing.